Hello there, Tony Linus with the October 12 Australian Market Report for ABN Newswire. And watching the US earnings results, the Dow index hit a fresh 2009 high on Friday after the earnings season kicked off. Upbeat forecasts and IT giants IBM and Intel fueled the market's growing expectations over a profit recovery. S&P's 500 and Nasdaq both gained more than 4.5% for the week. The Australian market closed slightly lower on Friday as investors remained cautious to the US corporate results. Uncertainty may continue to weigh on the local markets as more major US companies are scheduled to release their earnings this week. The benchmark S&P ASX 200 index Friday dropped 15.7 points or 0.33 per cent to 4,752.9. For the week, the ASX 200 rose 3.3 per cent. The broader All Ordinaries Index lost 8.8 .8 points or 0.18 per cent to 4,754.5 on Friday. Moving to key economic facts and figures. Australia's major banks have tipped they will increase mortgage rates by more than the official reserve bank rises in the coming months because they're facing higher costs of raising money in the wholesale markets. But Treasurer Wayne Swan says the big four banks cannot justify raising interest rates by more than the Reserve Bank of Australia's 25 basis point increase. Today, the Australian Bureau of Statistics will release lending finance data for August. In mergers and acquisition news, Felix Resources says China's Yanzhou coal mining today will resubmit the applications for its $3.54 billion bid for Felix to Australia's Foreign Investment Review Board for a second time. Yanzhou withdrew and resubmitted its application for the first time last month. Mervac Group has entered into a merger implementation deed with Mervac Real Estate Investment Trust in relation to a $256 million Australian offer to acquire all the issued units in MRZ. Mervac Group's offer is proposed to be implemented by way of a trust scheme, valuing the trust units at 54 cents. Mervac currently owns 24.6% of MRZ. Turning to important corporate news now, and toll road operator Transurban has posted toll revenue of growth of $206.9 million Australian for the September quarter, an increase of 6.8% on the prior corresponding quarter. All Australian assets reported traffic growth for the quarter. Toll revenue growth exceeded traffic growth on six out of seven roads. Fortescue Metals Group says its September quarter production exceeded guidance by 9% and reiterated its forecast for the December quarter. The group also plans to spend $360 million Australian to fast-track the development of its Christmas Creek mine, which would increase its total yearly iron ore production to about 55 million metric tonnes. Lend Lease plans to become a stable entity on ASX. This will be achieved by distributing units in a newly created trust, Lend Lease Trust, to shareholders on a one to one basis and stapling each unit and share together to form a stapled security. Office service company Servcorp Limited plans to sell new shares to institutions and retail investors to raise $80 million Australian to fund its growth and take advantage of depressed prices for real estate. The company will raise $51 million Australian from an institutional placement and $29 million Australian from a 1 for 11 accelerated non-renounceable entitlement offer. And Seven Networks says its holding in James Packer's consolidated media holdings has risen to 20.96% after an on-market share buyback by Cons Media reduced the number of shares on issue. Meridian Minerals Limited says its FIRB has approved the investment of $10.5 million Australian into Meridian by Chinese company Northwest Mining and Geology Group Company Limited for non-ferrous metals. Northwest Mining will subscribe, subscribe to Meridian shares in a placement at a share price of $0.08 cents Australian. Well, I'm Tony Linus and this has been the Australian Market Report for ABN Newswire.